let's start day one session as part of first session we'll go through what is 1610 system <laughs> what is 1610 s4hana system what is ppc living system i'll just show you the systems how the systems look like what are the components to be installed uh, in order to enable this particular BPC 10.1 or BPC 11. Also, we will understand in S4 HANA how the content is activated, IBPF content is activated. We will understand the terminology, different products are there, different objects are there in both the products 1610 and BPC 11, there are different uh, uh, objects, we will understand those objects. So let's go through the system first, how the system looks like. I'm connecting to the server. There will be IP, just you need to give that IP. Then it will prompt for username and password. I'm connecting to your remote. Now, BPC, as I explained earlier, like BPC 11 server is separate, BPC 1610, BPC optimized for S4 HANA, that particular server is separate. Kindly mute yourself, please. Yeah, I'm muting you all. Yeah, Unmute question. Yourself. Yeah. Go Why ahead, uh, uh, there are two servers? So it is same concept like uh, earlier. Earlier you have ECC system and a BW system. Correct? ECC is for OLTP, transactional uh, system, and BW is for data warehousing. Different systems can be connected to this BW. Same concept here. S4 HANA is for transactional system. Also, you can use it for uh, analytical uh, planning and all these things. As for HANA, both thing, things are uh, possible. However, if you have one S4 HANA system, one ECC system, another, uh, uh, another S4 HANA system, so two, three S4 HANA systems, one ECC system, HP7, then you can connect to BW for HANA. Okay. So, I'm muting you all. Yeah. So, if you are not getting audio, you have to see this one. Telephone icon in the pre-conference called panel. So now, let's go here. First, we will check how the 1610 system is. 1610 system, like it is S4HANA system. Yeah. When it is S4HANA system, you can go to SAP Logon pad. How to find whether that is a S4HANA system or BBC 11 system. See here. S4 HANA 1610 FPS2 service pack 2. This server ID is F60. System ID is F60. Log on to the system. Give the username, password. Here, go to system. Status. Product version. Go here. Now, when you go here, there is something called installed product versions. This is S4 HANA on premise 1610 system. 
in this particular function 610, we can use BPC optimized for S4 HANA. It's part of S4 HANA file. You can use BPC optimized for S4 HANA. This is part of 1610. This is the first product. This is the one. Now I, I showed this system. And in this particular server, you have to activate some content, IBPF content. What happened? SAP in S4 HANA, SAP come up with some module called S4 HANA Finance. S4 HANA Finance. As part of S4 HANA Finance, they have given some content which is BPC content for planning. They have given cost center planning, internal order planning, WBS element planning, which earlier it was happening in ECC system. Now it's part of S4 HANA system. So this BPC content is available in 1610. That's also called as IBPF content. Earlier we used to call it that BPC we used to call it as integrated business planning for finance. This particular BPC content as part of IBPF content, you can activate it. So when you activate that particular content, if you want to see what is the version of BW in this particular 1610, go to install software, see as for HANA inbuilt it will have BW system. There is no separate BW installation. You can see SAP underscore BW component here. So there on the first there. screen. So go on top. Yeah, you see the yeah. Come down. Yeah. 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 This. this is seven five one version. Yes. Right. So, all the content is activated in the BW system. For example, now I am in 1610 system. This is 1610 system. In this 1016 system, even, even though it is, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, OLTP system. I have a well, question uh, for you. Yeah. 1610 means it was released last year, October. Uh, correct. 2016, so October. Yeah. After that, uh, you know, everywhere I see 1610. So what is the reason that there is no stable system came after that? Recently, uh, I think one month, 1709 is available. 2017 September, one system they released. One one version they released for us for HANA. Okay, okay. But that that servers are not available. Yet. It will take. Okay, thank for you. That now let's go to a transaction code called RFA one. RFA one. Connecting. Now, when I go to a transaction code RS1, RSA1 in uh, S4 HANA system, so this is my BW modeling code. Here I can see all the objects, whatever virtual providers available as part of standard content. Whatever info objects available as part of standard content, I can see here. For example, all the content starts with slash ERP slash. All the BPC content starts with slash ERP slash finance content. Search like this slash ERP slash 
एस पिन अंडर स्कोर बी जीरो पर हियर वन स्टैंडर्ड कंटेंट वर्चुअल प्रोवाइडर इज अवेलेबल बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी एक्टिवेटेड दिस हियर डबल राइट क्लिक right click here month second just change my network so now here you can see this virtual provider which gets transaction data real time from the ac docky table there is a table in uh, s4 hana called ac docky all the financial information is available in ac docky common table for all the gl ap ar as a accounting material so dimensions are here it is connected to particular view there is a view which gets data from this ac docky table and uh, will be available in this particular as for hana financials or so same way there are some master data let's say erp company code slash erp slash company code this is a virtual info object which gets real time master data from ecc table as for hana finance table or as for hana table right click display go here master data and text here you can see from which view it is getting the data from this sap hana view it will it gets that the same characteristics erp company code can be viewed from hana also for example i connect to sap hana SAP HANA Studio. So this is SAP HANA Studio. There, you have to connect to BW Modeling Tools. So SAP introduced BW Modeling Tools for. Uh, for the development creation of virtual providers creation of info objects you can do it from this particular virtual particular bw modeling tools even you can create back queries from this particular modeling tools bw modeling tools our system is s16 800 so let's say this is the one i'm connecting here username password you have to give now you can see f16800 this one bw repository here you can see all the info areas if you want to see the particular uh, virtual provider or particular info object from here just right click on this open bw info object you can search it here slash erp slash com com card so it opened that particular erp company card here you can see master data text and it's it's the sap hana view the hana view with details you can find it here 
view details, visitor view. If you want to see this view, right, that's there in the HANA studio, FC1 underscore C underscore company code. If you want to see this particular view, you have to go to HANA administration. So whatever the HDB system required, from there you can go to content, FAP, ERP content, string content, CO, CL, calculation views. So here all FCO underscore C underscore company code. This view is there. So in, in S4 HANA system, the main point here is it comes with some BPC content from virtual providers info objects. Even it comes with some input templates. Yeah. So let's say, for example, if you want to see one input template in the S4 HANA system, which is already developed for planning, you can go here. Go to analysis. Sorry, go to analysis. Open workbook. Open workbook from NetWeaver platform. So I want to open from S4 HANA 1610. Next. Just give the password. Now, just check all the content is available with slash ERP slash. Yes, Here you can see a lot of layouts, planning layouts in this summer reports. Cost center related, internal order related, balance sheet related, PNL related. Yeah. So if you go here, let's say cost and planning on periods, okay. So all these contents you have installed it, right? Yeah. So as uh, how to install that one, I'm going to explain in the next session. Yeah. So it prompts for a variables. So I have some variables already created. So what, fiscally 2017, category plan, company code 1710, cost center this, that. All these things we have to give. Just click on OK. So this layout, whatever it is going to open now, it's already created in the system. This is the content. Here you can select your call center. You can select your GL account. And you can plan the data. This data, whatever you plan, it can be stored in BW system in, in one real time info queue, or this can be stored in, in AC doc P table in ECC system. That configuration is in your. Uh, there is a variable which can directly store this uh, data, whatever you plan, in the ECC system, AC doc P table or real type info cube, whatever is created. That flexibility is there in S4 HANA system. See SAP BPC for S4 HANA framework. So this standard content is available. This is all about 1610 system. We are going to to understand this 1610 system first in the tomorrow when we start we we'll start with 1610 and we will discuss how the standard content can be activated how the real time data acquisition happens and we will uh, implement one scenario using in this particular 1610 10 to 15 10 days or uh, some 10 days we discuss this 1610 system then we'll go for bpc 11 system let's go and understand how the BPC-11 system looks like. 
before understanding this BPC level, let's see how the BPC screens in 1610 looks like and what is the version of BPC in 1610. In this 1610, BPC version is 10.1. BPC 10.1. Now I think they, they released uh, BPC 11 uh, from 1710, uh, 1709 version. So let's go here, go to BPC 10.1 URL I want to open. So let's go to slash O F I C F. Execute the services. External aliases. Default host. Here you can find a URL which connects to BPC. Now you can see BPC 10.1 system. Here you can create standard environments and embedded environment. Let's connect to one embedded environment. So let's say this is one embedded environment. It is 10.1 or 11.1? This is 10.1. Oh, okay. That's for HANA 1610, 10.1 version. It okay. It's a version, yeah. BPC, BW for HANA, it comes BPC level. I will come to that. So, here you have consolidation, you have uh, administration, planning related stuff can be configured here. Yeah, library, BPF and all these things are here. So this is 10.1 environment for on 610. Now, let's go to, let's understand BW for HANA and BPC level. This BW for HANA and BPC for HANA. How it looks like. BPC 11 will be on top of BW for HANA. Where can I see this BW for HANA? I'm just cancelling everything. Yeah. In your SAP logon pad, we are discussing BW for HANA first. Let's connect to BW for HANA server. Here you have BPC 11 on BW for HANA server. Click log on. So here you can see system status go here. The component installed, installed product versions, BW for HANA. Yeah. And you can have you can see BPC for HANA. This component is important in order to enable BPC 11 embedded or standard. BW for HANA, you have SAP BW for HANA version 1. BPC for HANA, patch level 1. This is what installed here. Now, in this, if you want to see detailed components, you can go to install software component. You can see these three BW for HANA content. The content is based on this BW for HANA CONT component. BW will have the content right. 
PW for HANA will also have content. Data sources will be activated in the source system, which is which can be as per HANA system, ECC system. From there, data will be extracted to BW for HANA. So extraction, ETL process should be there when you use BW for HANA. If you use as per HANA, there is no ETL process. Everything can be done uh, real time. Now, in this BW for HANA, one thing you have to understand, there is no modeling in BW for HANA, in BW system. When you go to RSA1, there is no modeling. I cannot create objects from RSA1. Most of the BW consultants know RSA1 is basically to create info areas, info objects, info queues, and all those things. In BW for HANA, there is no modeling here. If you want to do any modeling, you have to do it from the HANA Studio. Come to HANA Studio, go to Business uh, BW Modeling Tools. Here, you can do your modeling. So the point here, BW modeling happens in using BW modeling tools, which is part of SAP HANA Studio. From SAP HANA Studio, you can connect to this particular BW modeling tool. Even queries are developed using this particular BW modeling tool. So all the things are here. Whatever you have to create, you have to create it here only. See here. You can create composite providers, aggregation levels, data store objects, characteristics, key figures. All these things are developed here. ADSOs, instead of real-time info cubes, standard info cubes, we use advanced data store objects. Instead of multi-providers, we use composite providers. These things we are going to discuss. Uh, so, uh, are we saying that in BW for HANA, uh, there is no real time queue? There is no real time info queue. There are no multi providers. You can't create. Okay. So, ADSO. ADSO, yeah. Thank you. That, that, that objects which are available in BW, even 1610, you can create multi providers. Info cubes, but BW for HANA you cannot create. The support is stopped for those. Now, BPC 11 screen on top of BW for HANA. Let's see. Let's go to this is BW for HANA system. Let's connect to slash n. Let's say here. Execute services. External NESS here. Here you can see BW BPC Universal Website Test External NES. So this is BPC 11 screen, you can see BPC 11. You can connect to embedded environment or standard environment from here, settings. Connect to one standard uh, embedded environment. Now you can see all the dimensions, models available in this particular environment. So models are there in this environment. It models are connected to ADSOs or composite provider. This is ADSO. Here you can develop 
business process flows, securities, and all these things. Whatever you develop in BPC embedded, with 10.1, everything can be developed in BPC 11. The screen changes, but screen changes in BPC 11, the main thing is it, all, it works on ADSOs and composite providers, BPC 11. BPC 10.1 can work on multi providers, aggregation levels, in real time info cubes, and ADSOs. All, all the things are available. However, it's always better to go with the new technology. We, whenever you configure, you configure with new objects like composite providers and uh, ADSOs so that it will be easier for the next versions. Anyway, they are going to drop these multi providers and ADS and info cubes in the later version for the 10.1, I'm talking about 10.1. So even though if you use 10.1, BPC 10.1 for your implementation, do it via composite providers and ADS force. Don't use multi providers and info cubes. Now, we saw BPC 11, BW for HANA and BPC for uh, HANA system. The next thing, let's start with 1610 system. Yeah. Let's understand 1610 S4 HANA BPC embedded, how the BPC embedded integrated business planning for finance happens in 1610. Yeah, this is good. Thank you. I have a question for you that, uh, you know, you mentioned that uh, all the planning data goes to AC doc P and also mm -hmm. into the custom made uh, info cubes or whatever it is. Whatever. So what is the difference? What What is the difference? Info cubes, whatever real time info cubes, those are there in BW system. That means if you want to see any data, actual versus plan in BP ECC system, you have to push that data to ECC tables. From real-time info cubes, you have to push the plan data to ECC tables. If you use, yeah. if you directly update ECC tables, those are already available in ECC tables. We can generate a view to generate the actual versus plan. We just create a SAP external view. So, it will push it to transactional system. When you save the data, when AC doc P it stores, it is in a transactional system. Okay. So, here I just uh, will, will, right. So in the day one, let's understand what are the content available. These things I just showed you. The aggregation levels, all these things we'll see. Let's start with 1610. So this is 1610 system. As I said earlier, in 1610 system, you have virtual providers. You can also have multi provider. See, here there is a multi provider SAP delivered. Uh, at that time, uh, they did not think about these composite providers and all these things. See, this is a multi provider. This symbol is for multi provider. And this multi provider is having one real time info cube. This is a real time info cube. This is a virtual provider. And this is also a virtual provider. There is a difference between V01 and V20. V01 is a real, uh, V01 is a virtual provider which gets data from ECC tables directly. V20 is a virtual provider which writes data to ECC tables. So reading data and writing data. Two things are there. So V20, this virtual provider, directly writes data to AC doc P, uh, AC doc P table in ECC. Plan data from ACDOC P. 
on top of this multi providers we can generate aggregation level so you can see these aggregation levels all these are aggregation levels for example i want to go with one aggregation level as been underscore is 01 what is aggregation level i will explain so these are the aggregation levels on top of aggregation levels you can create planning functions filters so those planning functions and filters you can see here we'll understand these objects what are these aggregation levels and how to configure a planning scenario we'll understand today we'll stop here tomorrow we'll we'll understand standard content in bpc optimized what is s4 hana finance add on and what is the ib how to activate this ibp content using one sap note okay? we start with 1610 then we'll move to bpc level any questions so what will be the timing when we will start tomorrow yeah so it is same time uh, how we connected today uh, same meeting request uh, whatever we connected this the, this is the same meeting request um, so this is free conference call services the meeting id is ppc underscore kiran yeah and the next thing is session time session time tomorrow i mentioned in the mail uh, whatever i sent earlier yeah. so it is november 28 india 6:30 am ist november 27 us i think 8 pm it is right 6 8 pm is 8 pm EST, right? Or I got this email. Yeah, yeah. I have not Eight. received this mail. You have not received? No. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, so the same time, uh, same. Yeah. Uh, positively, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I will yeah. attend this entire. So November 28. Uh, uh, sorry, 27 is for us. Yeah, you. Okay, thank you, sir. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so we'll, a lot. we'll stop now. Yeah. yeah. Any any other questions from other participants? Very exciting. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. I'm ending the meeting. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.